Hi, and welcome to a Triple Tree helpful video guide. This video is about how to replace a defective motor in your watch winder. The model we have here is a Triple Tree watch winder with a wood shell piano paint exterior, has two Mabuchi motors, can wind four watches, and store six watches. As you can see, the left motor is not working, so we have to take it out and replace it with a new one. First, turn off and unplug your watch winder. Then remove all accessories. This includes automatic watches and watch pillows. The required tools are a screwdriver and pliers. Firmly grasp the middle of the watch holder and twist left to take it out. There are two protruding areas on the watch holder that fit into the black disc like a puzzle. The watch holder is like a bottle cap. To take it out, you twist to the left. To put it back in, you twist to the right. Next, remove the small screw that is in the middle of the black disc. Then pull out the black discs. Remove the small black circle stickers as well as the screws that are underneath them. Use pliers to carefully tug onto the small metal parts in order to take out the board. Carefully open the board towards you. Please do not damage the area below the board. Before completely taking out the board, we first have to unplug the red and black cord from its slot. Then, after doing that, it's okay to take off the whole board. The inside of a watch winder may look complicated, but don't worry, we will only be focusing on a couple of things. There is a red and black cord for the battery box. Right now, it is disconnected because we took out the board, and that made it come out of its slot. Later in the video, we will show you how to put it back in. This is the left motor, and its cord is connected to the first slot on the circuit board. This is the right motor, and its cord is connected to the second slot. In this video, we will be replacing the left motor. First, take out the cord. Take out the four screws that you see in the video. Apply a lot of force into the screw as you're taking it out. Now the defective motor can easily be removed. When putting on a new motor, be sure to put the metal part inside the hole. Then put all four screws back in. Take the head of the cord, make sure the protruding part is facing down. Then insert it back into the slot. Now it's time for the cord for the battery box to go back in its slot. Start by carefully placing the bottom part of the board back in. Since the cord for the battery box is very short, the board has to be very close to it. Hold the head of the cord for the battery box. Make sure the protruding part is facing up and insert it into the slot. Tuck in the cords inside the watch winder. Make sure that these areas are clear of the cords, so that when you close the board, nothing is sticking out. Carefully place back the top part of the board and make sure that the board is all secure. Put back the two screws, then the two small black stickers. When putting back the black discs, flip it over and align the hole with the metal part. They should fit in together perfectly. Fit the two black discs back onto the metal parts. Place the screws back into the middle of the discs. Fit the two protruding areas in the watch holders onto the discs 
and twist to the right to lock it in. Now your watch winder is ready to turn back on and wind your watches. Thanks for watching.